Hi cuties! Today we've gathered here to celebrate one and only Sai Opa, a legend that is dubbed to be a father of K-pop. But since Sai came out with a new album with a lot of star names on it like uh, Hwasa and Jesse and Suga, this is just a perfect time to take the road down the memory lane and just see him revisit all his biggest hits so let's get into it if you like everything singing and music related then this is the right place for you so please don't forget to subscribe and if you do want to support the channel check out my uh patreon because there i do extra reactions for or up to six or seven extra reactions per month and the best thing is that they are redeemable so you guys decide what i'm going to be reacting to on patreon so if you guys want to support the channel and get a reaction to your favorite artists along the way this is the best way to do it. And the last thing, if you've ever wanted to sing or you would like to work with me on your voice, then please head down in the description where you're going to find a link to my website where it's all the information about my singing lessons. So don't be scared. Dive right in. I am very inclusive of various music styles and I'm pretty sure you're going to fit perfectly in our little student family. So come and join us. And now, without any further ado, the man, the legend, Sai, an Adingo performance. <웃음> 안녕하십니까 저는 가수 싸입니다 24년 전 힙합 지망생이었었는데 그 후로 새부터 어, 춤을 못 끊어서 여지껏 이렇게 제대로 된 진정성 있는 랩 프로그램에 출연해 본게 22년 만에 처음입니다 He has such a pronounced fry in his voice, in his normal speech voice um... I'm excited not just because of his singing, but because I genuinely um, respect, have a huge respect for Sai as an artist, but also as a label owner. I think he's doing a great work with their uh, with his artists. They thrive. So he has he is one of the one of the best personalities in the whole industry for me. Like a really caring and hardworking person. 초대해 주셔서 감사하고 데뷔 후 처음으로. 춤 없이 온전히 랩에만 집중을 해보도록 하겠습니다. He has so much charisma. 저도 한번 싶었습니다. DJ, drop the beat. <laughs> <laughs> he has tons of charisma. I think that was one of the reasons why he made it so big and went so viral. 당신 너무나 이쁜 당신 항상 난 당신을 향해 행진 언제 거꾸로 신을지 몰라 고무시 그래도 너무 귀여운 당신의 텅빈 머릿속에 꽉차 있는 담배 연기 아무 데서나 담배를 피는 용기 아무 데서나 화장을 고치는 굳은 심지 그러면서 남의 시선 남의 이목 남의 크고 작은 목소리 되게 신경 쓴 당신 좋지만 얄밉고 입지만 열받게 군 당신은 세뇨리다 남들이다 뭐래 너나 당신만을 따라가리다 당신은 나만의 모나리자 고 there's a certain tension in his voice. He is very, his uh, fry is very pronounced. It was already pronounced in his speech. And it just keeps the same quality within his rap or kind of a flow. It's still very narrow. So the flow is not very melodic. He's just keeping a very healthy amount of tension to just keep that fry pronounced, keep the tone very clean and uh, keep you on your tippy toes, just listening. <laughs> One thing that Sai always did very well was the way he plays around with diction and how he uses the Korean pronunciation to create a lot of different, very interesting layers of vowels that are just not in any other language. And it's making it very specific for the listener, very easily to identify. And he's really playing around. So if there is a vowel, there's also always gonna be a little slide or a little voice, voice break or something that's just gonna spice it up. And it's just so typical for him that when you hear a Psy song, it's just like immediately very obvious. Hey. Oh God, it's my childhood. Oh, 
함성이 터져 메아리 퍼져 파도 타고 모두에게 퍼져 커져 아름다운 젊음이 갈라져 있던 땅덩어리 둥굴게 둥굴게 돌고도는 몰래 봐 인생 소나 What the sound? Was it crazy frog or what was that called? I'm back in my childhood. What the hell? Also, you can see that the beginning of his uh, career, uh, the beginning songs were very rap heavy. So there's little to no melodicity to them. It was very based on rap flow. And I think progressively we're going to see how much more melodic lines he was adding into his art and uh, how much it shaped the success of his heart because he is... Also a very good singer in the end. <laughs> Imagine years after you still fully enjoy your music. It's really hard sometimes, especially if you've sang the song thousands of times. <laughs> Keep that good relationship with that song is sometimes really difficult. It was a pretty nice open belt. It was not too high for him. Asai is very safe with his high with his higher tones. Since he's performing a lot and he has very elaborate, difficult dances, he also understands that he cannot go for something that's gonna be risky in slightly uncomfortable conditions. So if he would be slightly sick or tired, he would have troubles of hitting it. So all of these like higher tones are still in a lot like in his very comfort area. Uh, one hand it's very fronted sound he never swallows any vowels or swallows any sound that would be too much back it's not even nasal it's most of the time very fronted strong sound so everything Every single one, like vowel, every single part of the word he's leaning into. So it feels like it's kind of hitting you. The sound is like hitting you in waves. It's really, really cool because it's it feels like very high intensity thanks to that. Nothing is rounded, nothing is airy, everything is clean and very sharp. I think now we're gonna see the biggest hop and the biggest difference between his art before to before Gangnam Style and after Gangnam Style. Background music, the singing style, the approach. After Gangnam Style, it got very animated as well. So he started to work with the various elements in his voice much more, play around much more. You're gonna hear. <sighs> for the thousand second time, Gangnam Style for him. Imagine he had to sing that song for like so many times. It has to be crazy, crazy. Gangnam Style. I like this one version. I 
like this version. It's a little bit rougher, so it's slow down. The beat is not too fast, like in the original. I'm, I'm curious where they're gonna go with this. It's actually a really interesting change. And back to original. Huh? Okay, live singing king. We understand. We get it. Okay. I see. I see you. I see. I see. See, um, again, he's never going to a very uncomfortable place. -na 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 -na. So it's not like an opener on the way up, which would be normally if you would want to go for that grand finale and have the highest tone of the songs would be -na 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 -na. for example, or -na -na. something like that opener into higher place but he is actually staying on one -na 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 -na. so basically keeping the tension and opening it on the last tone but it's on the same level and he sang this song numerous of times his openers are nice and his lungs have to be made out of steel because the choreo is so difficult with this song and the tension up there in higher places even though it's not like super high for him he could go higher it's still very difficult especially because you are staying at that position for so long. You can see so much more animated features in his with So there's just so much more layers, so much more fun with the voice. So some things in Korean language are pronounced with a ch, with a ch. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Probably no. I'm either leaning more into French or I'm not sure. Or my native language, really difficult to say. But he's using that to fry a little bit more into the voice. And I really like it because again, He's using a lot of elements from Korean language to animate his flow and, and the whole um, singing part so much more. He's really playing into the way they pronounce things and what vowels they push him forward and where do they fry and where, where the even possibilities to fry the voice. It's really fun. <laughs> Ooh, Chalab. the drop. He can drop very nicely. Actually, very nicely connected. Uh, very fast drops. And I really like his low voice. I really have to say I really like his low voice. Ooh, a G Dragon. I actually don't know this one. There was one breath. The entire thing was one breath. I just realized it that I didn't hear him like even like have like a very shallow breathing at all you can see the difference in the flow this is so much lower set and he's leaning into his voice much more um, because he's not trying to make it brighter and more fun around. He's just trying to sit it slightly lower to have that laid back um, feeling into it. Very in the style of a smooth criminal, which I can see when a call up with G-Dragon, this would be something that would be the vibe that they would be going for. <laughs> Yeah, 
술 먹어 먹어 첫 가서 먹어 먹어 사이가 언제적 사이냐고 씨바라 오늘의 사이라고 월드스타라고 띄웠다 마트긴 같다고 씹었다 십세리 빠가야로 완전히 세대서부터 음. 오늘의 이 노래까지 난내 자리에서 내할일 전화리 했을 뿐난 여기까지 잘난 체허세 And G Dragon's energy is so hard to match because he has, he is outstanding artist, and his vibe is, I can imagine, like it's very hard to match G Dragon's energy, and I think he absolutely leveled it. It's so great to hear. <laughs> To the pole, Kang. Hey, hey, I'm in c h o k e I'm in c h o k e It's the, do it the. Booger, booger, d a d g e m a r k Fact to the pole, Kang. Hey, fact, fact, fact to the pole, Kang. Hey. You can tell he was so excited to sing that song, like super excited about it. I don't think he performs this one a lot because, like, I I'm not saying that because I haven't heard it, he cannot perform it too much, but. I have a feeling. I will double check if uh, he performs it a little bit more, and I just missed it. But um, that was a really cool song. I can imagine them clashing really nicely in it, and uh, it's a really huge artistic risk to put Psy and G Dragon. But honestly, it it worked out perfectly. It really worked out perfectly. <laughs> You can hear the difference between that lower set, like really leaning into that lower voice and tapping into the chest, and then now there's higher tension. Da 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 da. Ah uh, ah, uh, much cleaner. <laughs> This is a great. Good artists can bring like the entire conversation of four different people, and with their voice, they can. Mimic and animate four different people just talking to each other, and you know that this is that person, this is that person. They just bring different vibe, different intensity to every single character that they're portraying. This was really cool to listen to. <laughs> Alright. This is just gonna cause me to play the entire night. I don't wanna go asleep at 3 a.m. Please. Oh, he went so much into his uh, nose. Listen to that additional nasal limper. Na 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 na. Gentle h o n k y Gangnam Style. 잘했네 잘했네 잘했어. 나 밟아진 게 대해. New face, I love it. Style up, 그리고 that that. 잘했네 잘했네 잘했어. 존나게 잘했어. Nice introduction. I like what everybody wants to do. Somebody who's just like with a nose up, like. And a song. <laughs> Ooh, this is for Jesse. Jesse is my absolute baby girl. I love her so, 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 so much. I've reacted to her a couple of times, and I reacted to her Dingo performance as well. And yeah, I was so excited to see them cooperate, just like with Vasa, my another absolute baby girl that I love to death. So. <laughs> I 
I would like to point out this one thing. He does it quite often, but during this performance, he did it so far just once. Ta -ta, that kind of like a very breath supported kind of pinch up into the higher tone. I would swear I've heard him do that like thousands of times. So you know, it was really surprising to me that ta -da -ta -ta, ta -ta, and ta, this little pitch up and like immediately going back into a decline tone. I would swear I've heard him do it so many times. That's why I'm kind of surprised that we don't have more of it in this performance. But still, we got Ooh, the head movement definitely helped because he uh, does again lean into the part of words so much a uh, lot of the time and then when he started to look at it when he started to kind of connect them all together i wanted to he was really helping himself <laughs> But and you could see it over there. It's actually very good. The more singers and performers are using their work, their their, their hands and they're like collaborating with their body, and it's just it can be extremely helpful. Not just from the mental side that you're just kind of mimicking whatever you're doing with your voice, and it's just helping you to express yourself better. That overall is just a very good technique helper. And if it's not just if it's not disrupting your stance, like putting up your shoulders or anything else, it's really good. It was almost like when you start to do legato with your uh, violin and you start to drag that um, very similar movement and he was uh, kind of emulating it with his voice as well. And here we go, the expected one. This song, if you haven't heard it yet, please go check it out. It's a great collab with Suga of BTS. Uh, Suga is a great producer. He's one of the top producer in... Uh, not just in the Korean sphere, but like overall in music, I would say um, he did some perfect pieces that are just really, it's really noticeable that his artistry is moving heavily into production. So I knew this is going to be an absolute bomb. So excited. Haven't checked it out. Definitely go. <laughs> Again, the chopping of the words and the chopping of the words is so, so typical for him. I love when he does it. I don't think I heard anybody else utilize the way you pronounce words and just have a certain type of addiction as well as he does. Like he does it so well. With that, they can shake a hand with Chessie because she's just as good at that. So, mirrored. <laughs> It, when he sings immediately right here in this passage goes into like you can hear like uh 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 and then he goes can you feel it <laughs> just finished here let's pull it up into the nose immediately can you feel it can you whoa, feel it yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> but can i love it i really it? do can you feel it whoa. see now he dropped he started belting very nicely opened tone you can see that he's not shy in opening, really nicely dropping the, the jaw to create a really nice bright tone. Oh, yeah. 
and a nasal kind of undertone is immediately dispersing. Imagine recording that, that ad libs there. This is such a good song. Well, say Oppa did it again. Honestly, there's an entire reason why he is one of the, the fathers of K-pop and just overall um, such a incredible entrepreneur, incredible artist. He danced through all these years of a very high pace, difficult song while dancing and just really worked on every time bringing us something new that is gonna go viral. Like, I mean, he is the pinnacle of virality and what it can be and where it can go. It's really, it's really fun to see him back with something new and with something that is, again, pretty groundbreaking. He gathered the best of the industry and just and it and it definitely shows out in the originality of the album. I really like it. If you haven't listened to it, please go give it a go. It's very good. But first and foremost, I respect him for P Nation. It's a, it's a company that really support their artists. They are very supportive, very um, open-minded with their artists. I can see them really thrive under um, Psy. And he's personally supportive. So every single artist have him on the side. I know that a lot of artists talked about how much present he is and he is like the personal support right there for them. I think the results of the P Nation um, are definitely speaking for themselves. His artists are doing very well and it's very obvious that they are doing what they love and uh, composing their own songs, having their own visuals, having their own style that is true to themselves that they created for themselves. And I think it's really, really great. So I really respect him as a performer, but also as a boss like he is a great boss so again if you haven't listened to the new album go give it a go i think it's really great and hey if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video that youtube actually recommends for you and here is the rest of my korean reactions please stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time bye bye